YouTube is full of Animal Crossing videos right now. And we can all agree that Nintendo is just superior at their stylized art. The tree immediately caught my eyes and I just wanted to recreate it. Mostly also because I can only look at playthroughs, I cannot buy the game myself because I'm kinda poor. And this is why I started a Patreon account. You are now able to support your favorite YouTuber, PewDiePie, and also me, 3D School. If you decide to support me, you get access to Patreon exclusive content. And as many of you guys know, I like to give a lot of value. So I created a whole course creating this Animal Crossing tree. So if this video went a little bit too quick for you, then I have two hours of content broken down in 16 separate videos for everyone who wants to support me on Patreon. So let's start with Photoshop. I first like to get the basic shapes down so I know what I have to block out inside Blender. Now we can jump inside Blender and create the basic shapes. So we're just gonna block out yeah, all of the shapes that we have. And I like to use the array modifier with an empty to rotate the spheres around. And I do the same for the roots of course. So I just use a sphere, cut off whatever I do not need, use an empty and just rotate it around. So how do we do this? Well, it's super easy. Let's look at this cube. I am going to move this cube a little bit around the y-axis and also create a empty in the middle. Now I'm going to add a modifier which is going to be our array modifier. Make sure my relative offset is off and I'm gonna do the object offset at this empty. Now you can see that um, it goes at the empty, that's not really what we need. What we want to do is we want to select both of these and I just like to apply all the transformations. So now if I rotate this around the z-axis, you can see that this part rotates with it. So let's say we want to do a count of 5. Rotate z and then we can just rotate it very, very easily. But now we need to know how many degrees we need to rotate this empty. Math time! Okay, it is actually super easy. So a circle is 360 degrees, right? We want 5 of these circles in here. So we just have to do 360 divided by 5 and if you get your calculator in here 360 divided by 5 is 72 so if we go inside blender rotate this around the z-axis by 72 degrees you can see that we have a very nice alignment so here i do the same with the roots So after the blockout, I got a confirmation that my eyes are crooked and I have to spend some extra time playing around with the proportions. So give this tree some nice thickness. We all love some thickness. And I of course want to start preparing the roots so I can merge them together with the trunk. So now it's merging time and the only thing that I did is I deleted a part of the trunk and then of course joined it together with the root which already has the array modifier. Just make sure you merge these vertices together so we get a nice and smooth overlay and then get rid of all the gaps. So now it's time to create a leaf. I'll just start with a very simple plane and then just block out the leaf. I like to use a mirror modifier so I don't have to do double work and just fill these vertices up. Um, it doesn't have to be too specific because we're gonna use an opacity map later on. Now I make sure we have a solidify modifier on here so we can start sculpting. To get some extra detail on here, I created a grayscale map from an image of a leaf. I use this as a stencil to get some shapes in here. These details are way too realistic, so I'm just gonna sculpt over it and make it a little bit more stylized. After I'm done with my high poly, I create my low poly and export them both. With everything baked inside Substance Painter, we can start to bob-ross this. 
So we start with a very basic color and then I like to add a noise to it so it doesn't look so flat. Then I just duplicate it, create a darker color and just paint on here a little bit. And as last, I want to accentuate these darker veins in here, so I used a generator for that. The trunk can also use some materials, and because I'm lazy, I just used a preset material, and then deleted whatever I did not need, and edited all the colors and high detail to our liking. Now I just duplicated this whole material, and just change the base color to a little bit darker so I can create these rings that are on those trees with a mask. It is time for us to place our leaves. So I went inside Blender and created a particle system. I used hairs and instead of hairs I of course rendered our leaf. Now I just place them with a little bit of randomness and I start to manually just grab and uh, pull them out. Once I filled it a little bit up, I just duplicate them and I make sure we delete the geometry which we cannot see in our game engine. To make sure this tree is not too high poly and also seem more full, I created these spheres. The spheres are a little bit of a darker green color and our leaves are placed on top of it. But this didn't really fit my needs. So I wanted to retexture it. And I went into Substance Painter and used all the textures which we already created for our leaf and just painted the leaves on top of this sphere. I also created some cherries very quick with all the techniques that we used before. And then our tree is done. Hey guys, currently I'm in a lockdown of uh, Corona and yeah, probably a lot of you are as well. This is a shitty time, but I am trying to just learn new stuff and also create more content for you guys. I hope you guys can also learn some awesome stuff and try to create something positive out of this situation. And I wish you guys all well and I hope you don't get sick. See you guys in the next one.